You guys have been harassing me for a coloring tutorial, so here we are. It's fine because I kind of owe you guys one anyway, because I said I was going to do this specific coloring tutorial like ages ago, but I kind of wanted to gatekeep it for a little bit. I've been getting a lot of comments lately asking for an updated coloring tutorial, which kind of confuses me because, because literally guys, the only thing you need to know about making colorings and how to go about it is get your favorite coloring like ever and see what they use. Don't copy, you know, like the exact settings and whatnot, because then it's not really your coloring, but I'm saying like take the elements and effects that they use and apply it to make your own coloring. Today we're be making my popular forest coloring, and I say it's popular because every time i use this on my the last of us edits i get a lot of compliments on it i don't have an edit for you guys today for an example because i was not going to make an edit just for this we use a picture to do this it's kind of pixelated which i'm a bit worried about but just know it's going to look better on an edit obviously you're going to need magic bolt looks for this luckily that's all you're going to need right so you should be excited i like to start outside magic bolt looks first because there's actually some things you can do to make your coloring better people always ask me how i get good quality i don't think i have good quality but um part of it is this right here so look up brightness and contrast and then you add that to your clip make the brightness 32 and then i make the contrast 10. this for some reason i feel like helps my quality it doesn't look good here because of the picture i chose but it's josh hutcherson like he looks good in everything i grab some hue and slash what hue slash sat, what hue slash saturation negative 20 and then i make the lightness negative 2. this like pixelated picture is really bothering me guys i'm so sorry but i'm gonna keep it <laughs> okay because i don't know if i knew one on pinterest okay now we look up looks for the magic bullet looks plugin what and then we're gonna work with what we have in here i can't take it guys i'm changing this picture look at the pixel are you looking to be an organized editor and take your editing to the next level sorry um you should buy my editing journal i made it myself and it looks like a little fantasy book because you know like as editors we're always in the fantasy clouds and whatnot like it's so pretty okay now it's in pink right now because blue is sold out so if you're a pink girly or guy no shame you should get it because the pinks are limited edition so you probably won't see the pinks for a while you can plan out your edits with this little page and although it says transitions you can even do this with velocity you also have edits to be determined you have rank your edit it also has more like an editing tracker if you're an organized person like me you get it and if you don't you don't but anyways you should buy it link in bio films by tashi.com okay bye love you back with a new picture thank goodness this is better it looks like it has sharpening on it but um i don't think it does it's just hd which your clip should already be hd okay if you want good quality so if your clips are 720p doing something wrong okay so now we're actually gonna add magic bullet looks to the clip and this is where the magic happens okay now i always tell you guys i have no idea if putting certain effects in these specific boxes matter like i don't know if curves i don't know anyways let me just move on let me just get to it first i want to start with curves i love curves i don't specifically know how it works but so i usually go somewhere around here and i pull that down i forgot to pre-compose it so it looks <laughs> a little bit weird but yeah we're gonna go to print bleach bypass and for the print bleach i do this around 53 point four it can either make this really dark or really bright you know um so use that to your advantage but i'm gonna do 53.4 this is actually a really underrated effect exposure compensation is gonna be 1.20 oh that was really big i mean really bright <laughs> 1.20 now let's go to renoiser because we want to add a little bit of a grain effect right can this go anywhere else i'm just curious it can go in here See, I don't know if it matters which effects go in here. Like this can go into camera or it can go into post. I'm not really sure which matters. I kind of want to put it into camera just because it looks better. I'm going to make the sharpen for Renoiser 7, around 7, make it a little bit, make it 7.30. Be careful because Renoiser is going to make it look a bit grainy. Let me zoom in here. Uh, I can't, sorry, but... If you were to zoom, I don't know how to, zoom. oh, here we go. If you zoom in here, it makes it a little bit grainy versus if we turn it off, that's gone. So it's like 
noise. So with that being said, you have to be careful if you overdo it because then it's going to look like an old 1987 TV, right? So just be careful on that. Now, film print, not to be confused with film negative. Um, Film print. I love film print. I use film print for most of my colorings, by the way, just in case you were curious. We are going to change the Kodak. I think that's how you pronounce it, to 2395. And from here, it's just all about mixing it up with the settings, right? So I'm going to make the color temperature. I think I made it around negative seven. And then the tint, I'm going to make the same. I think I have it the same setting. I'm going to make the exposure around 0 0.20. And the contrast shall be six. And then the saturation, uh, you don't want the whole thing to lose all of its color and be like black and white. So just be careful. I'm going to make it around 85. Then the skin tone is going to be negative 20. And then vintage slash modern is going to turn down. Why am I turning it up? Turn it down to the negative, like around negative 25. Okay. Then more grain, but not a lot at all. Just going to make it around 52 add hue and saturation um since we already have turned it down you know in specific places i'm just going to turn this down to 58 between 58 and 60 so that was a huge change look at that not huge but noticeable and it's kind of looking black and white actually so i think i'm going <laughs> to change this to like 60 diffusion we love diffusion okay diffusion is your best friend the size is 1 119 and i have the grade at 5.30 now before i continue i want to tell you a little bit about diffusion and why we love it diffusion makes it glowy in certain places and you know like where if the clip is bright here it's going to make it glowy here with that being said you have to be careful with your diffusion settings because sometimes <laughs> in my edits if it's like really bright outside of the characters like pale as snow um it's literally going to be blinding Okay, so be careful with your diffusion. You're going to have to adjust certain clips or certain colorings. Glow, I love for the glow to be high. I put it at 90. And then the highlights only is going to be 100. And I make the highlight bias. I want it to be on the low end. So I'll do 5, 0.510 is good. And then the exposure compensation. Oh my God, that was really bright. Around zero, between 0 0.10 and 0 0.15. I'll make it right there where is that at right here contrast and um i'm just gonna make that 0 0.0.180 0 .180. and then the pivot will be the same and everything else is the same okay and last thing is exposure i love exposure guys you have no idea i suppose it's just like exposure is just really nice to me what is the lens do I have anything on the lens? Oh, I'm moving exposure to the lens because it's just an awkward gap here. I want it to all be laid out perfectly. Okay. Exposure is just 0 0.20, which I have most of my colorings exposure at 0 0.20. This is the Forest CC. Now, it looks a bit different because these aren't my exact settings that I use because I have a um, preset. If you'd like to buy the preset, you don't want to do all this work because you're lazy. I get it. No shame. You can go to my pay hip and you can just buy it there. Um, and just for future reference, this is how I usually make my colorings, usually these exact same effects, um, unless I'm going for a different style, which is rare. I'm saying if you want this type of coloring consistently, it's best to just take these settings that you have here and mix them up accordingly. Thank you for 6K. I did a whole Q&A video in celebration, but guess what? QuickTime is really rude and did not pick any of it up. So sorry, I will redo it at some point, but not anytime soon. <laughs>